Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a reading for star seeds focused on the eclipse energy of this blood moon. I feel like a lot of the messages that came through in the last reading that were more focused on twin flames are still relevant for star seeds as well. So if you did not get a chance to watch that and you feel like you want to just see what those energies are about for yourself, I would see if any of the messages resonate because what I get is that the uh, paradigms around old sacral energy relationships and everything that is a bit taboo to speak about is what we're wanting to look at as a collective, uh, as light workers, as star seeds that are here doing this work. So a lot of what we do is in the subtle realm, which is focusing on your bodies that are not physical. So focusing on the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, and the energetic body is what we're doing. And as we make those slight incremental changes in those ways, they will take physical form. Uh, that's why you start to look different <laughs> as you absorb the DNA activations. And that's why you start to shift very slowly and you feel it even if you don't see the result of everything that you've been doing. So spiritual work, ascension work is slow. It's incremental, but it takes place over a span of time and it's up to us to feel like we know what we're doing, even if we don't get any solid physical proof right away, or we don't see anything changing, we will actually feel it changing. So let's ask the Moonology deck, since we're doing Eclipse Energy, and see what we are looking at with this Blood Moon energetically for star seeds and what kind of change we can expect in the next I'm hearing in the next 6 months eclipses will affect you for up to 6 months afterward. So, this is going to be more general for anyone watching. And I am getting a superstitious energy that uh, definitely wants to be acknowledged that in the old, uh, old ancient times where we had blood moons, the kings and queens would actually be very on edge because they knew that change was coming with this um, particular type of eclipse. So, uh, with that in mind, it says communication is key and it's time to take action. Very uh, specific here. So we have new moon in Gemini and new moon in Aries energy. Two new fresh cycles. So this is about taking action through communication. And whatever it is that has been uh, on your... Um, I'm getting a... It's stuck. It feels like there is something bubbling up to the surface that's stuck, that needs to be expressed. Uh, let's pull some tarot cards on this and see if we can get more specific information. Um, this, these cards in particular are could be related to twins. So we've got the twins and we're in Gemini season. So it's appropriate that also with Mars and Cancer, that is about taking action in a very emotional way. I feel like you let your emotions guide you here about what action is appropriate to take. And let's see, tell me about this communication. Let's just clarify both of these cards. Let's see what we get. So time to be bold is what I'm hearing. Uh, three of Wands, so no longer are you visualizing and manifesting. You're actually looking forward towards where you've set your sights. And this is literally about working with others. It can be um, a feeling of uh, 
knowing where you're headed and a feeling that you've decided. This is someone who's made a decision and this is someone who is now just waiting for the appropriate moment to move forward or you are, it looks like someone is about, what I get with this energy, specifically with this deck, is she's not necessarily waiting for someone to come towards her. She's more about waiting to see when this wave is going to uh, come towards her where she knows she can run up to meet it. So I'm getting a feeling of meeting someone halfway and being open and staying open in your energy. So if you are wanting to communicate or if you're expecting communication, either way, I feel it's about staying open and not putting up an energetic block. So allow, if there's someone you know that you want to hear from, be open to receiving and be in that, that energy of, of flow state and of allowing. Okay, let's ask about the action itself. Tell me about this Aries energy. Aries are Knight of Cups. So Aries are, what I was going to say, is that Aries, um, they don't think too much before taking action. It's a very action-oriented sign in general. That's why that, that comes through. But with the Mars and Cancer that I was mentioning, and we got this, I feel we've got this energy before, so it feels very opportune that this is the time where this is a very emotionally feeling card, cups, energy. So it's about taking action from your feelings and let your feelings guide you. This is new earth energy. So we're moving into the fifth dimension where we're moving away from letting our thoughts dictate our reality and we're actually realizing more and more that our thoughts are not even real. Most of them, they are repeated cycles and patterns that are ego and a lot of it can't really be trusted. So in order to really trust how you're feeling, you have to drop down into the heart space and you have to start to allow your feelings to guide you. It's a different tweak of how to approach living because in the 3D, especially for masculine energy, it was very dominated by thoughts. Whereas in the 5D, it's more dominated by taking action based on your passion and what's really driving you forward passionately and that you have heart behind. So it's not just a lust energy, it's passion based on inspiration and something that is making you feel um, moved to action. It's, it's something, I'm hearing a symphony, I'm hearing something very moving, an opera, a symphony, a very moving um, movie or some piece of art that uh, affects you. And that's the same feeling space, if it's something that you don't access very often, that you're gonna start to be guided by and it's gonna dominate in your frequency more than your mental thoughts. So let's see if there's any other messages with the tarot. Yeah, a knight of wands. So two knights, two action-oriented cards. And this is more confirmation of letting your passions and your um, inspiration drive you. I'm getting this is more of the sacral chakra energy that we were talking about in the last video for Twin Flames that uh, this is where we are letting old stigmas leave us and not worrying about how it looks. So if you're worried about reaching out to someone or doing something that may look make you look a certain way, like uh, if you're worried how it's going to look, these energies are saying not to worry about how it looks and just to move forward regardless. Because as a starseed, as a leader of the new earth, people are looking at you to see how you move forward and start to do things. And that is on you to start to be bold and um, communicate this way, take action this way. It's not a time to be timid but it's also a time to be thoughtful. Um, 
thoughtful in a sense of wanting to uh, not play any games. This is someone who's very open and honest. Any other energies? Any other messages? Okay. Temperance. So this is definitely guided by the angels, spiritually guided. None of this feels like frivolous matrix energy. All of this is because we're creating the new earth and it is spiritually guided by your higher selves. So I get a merge is happening on a large scale where our higher selves are merging with our physical selves. And um, I'm getting this in some personal readings that has been the overall message that where we used to take our entire lifetimes to evolve to is happened in a very short span of time. So because of the activations, this, the starseed DNA activations, your spiritual enlightenment has been expedited and it's like as if you think back on your life up till this point and it feels like it was someone else's life because it's, that's how much you have evolved in your energy and in your DNA. You are um, transformed with this energy, but it's spiritual transformation. And it's a 14, which is a five. So expect more change is in the air. Um, but if it doesn't show up right away, temperance is also about patience. So it's about a lot of this feels like spirit is pushing you to act and to do something right now. But then to get a message of temperance, it's saying if this feels too rushed for you, uh, you don't feel like you have to do it right away. It can be up again, keep in mind, eclipse energy is up to six months afterward. Just keep this in your awareness that this is what you want to move into, that you don't have to um, wait for a sign that you just having the inspiration is the sign. I'm going to leave you with a Starseed Oracle card. This is just going to be a short, um, shorter check-in. So I'm getting this is masculine or feminine energy. Um, it doesn't matter whichever one you are. Um, this is really a general for Starseeds about taking action and about moving into this higher frequency and a new earth. Yeah, it's about the new earth. It's about the new frequency and the new vibration and you stepping forward. This is more of that energy of someone stepping forward into the new. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Sometimes just having the vision and holding your frequency is enough. Embodying this frequency at, without being thrown off out of um, people who are either trigger, being triggered by your new energy or being thrown off because you, um, the activations can be so intense that it it's, requires more patience from you to just let them integrate the new frequencies. So if that's what it is that's happening, where you're just being activated right and left and you need to rest or you need to be gentle with yourself. That is the most important thing because this new earth is going to require an embodied um, version of you that is holding the frequency that is not wavering in your energy. So keep this in mind and wherever you are on this spectrum of needing to either Follow your passion in a new way, communicate your feelings to someone, um, or just embody and hold frequencies without being swayed. It's a very enlightened state to be in. The Buddha and Jesus come to mind where they just would not let anyone um, take their peace from them. So what I'm getting is maintaining your peace while also moving forward all embodying and holding the new earth frequency. So I love all of this energy coming through and I feel like a lot of this is just very 
helpful for us to remember as we are, sometimes we can get caught up in the routine of the day to day and not keep the overall vision in mind because we are the first wave, star seeds and twin flames. We're the first wave. So everything that we do is downloaded from spirit. We're not necessarily seeing people come before us. We are the people who are coming first, <laughs> that people will then look to us to see how we did it. But we get to, we're kind of the guinea pigs is the way that I see it. And except for a very select few people in history, um, now is a time where it's mass amount of star seeds leading this cause. So um, I think I'll leave it there. I feel like that's the message. So enjoy this eclipse energy and I will check back in with you soon. Please reach out if you'd like a personal reading. All of the links are below. Take care, everyone.